Hi everyone, I'm Erin and this is That's So Random. And today I'm going to share a haul, a thrift store haul that I did. I had gone camping a couple weeks ago and I, there was a thrift store not too far from the campground and I had gone in there and got a couple things. And when I came back I went to the Goodwill and got a few things. So let's get into this video. So let's get into this. Okay. So, the things I got when I was camping, I was actually in a little town in California called June Lake, and they have a little thrift store, and so I'll start off with the piece of clothing I got, which is this dress. I really like the fabric, and let me find the front. <laughs> so, that's the front of it, and it's nice and long. I'm thinking about, and it's also lined and got some cute little buttons on it. Um, I'm thinking of turning this into a pair of like, what are the, the paper bag shorts. So I'll insert an image here um, of the paper bag shorts that I'm kind of thinking about doing with this because I think this would be kind of cute, fun and summery. It's also made of rayon, which if you didn't know, rayon is a wood pulp kind of uh, fiber. So it's a little bit more natural, a little bit more breathable. So it'd be great for the summer. So that's this. I got, I know it's odd, I got two silver forks, but if you watch Bella May's um, fork plating video, she said to get different sizes, so I had gotten two forks. These are the only two forks they have. They had a whole collection, because they were silver, so they were in a set, but I separated the set. <laughs> um, I'll go with this one next, which are two buttons, two sets of buttons that I had um, gotten. I thought this one was, I love blue and black and just, you know, I just thought they were so cute. So I got those. And this Vogue pattern, which I will insert next to what the actual image looks like. Um, this is, I got this and it was because it's a thrift store. It was super cheap. I was actually really happy to get this, um, because I, I may not wear a lot of dresses and skirts, but when you work, you have to dress a little bit more professional, especially on certain days. So I figured that this would be cute because if you look, they have little, um, little pleats and everything. And I thought that would be fun and cute. So that's from the small thrift store that I had gone to in June Lake. Okay. So for this one, I went to Goodwill and everything's in front of me, laying in front of me because there's a lot of it. I spent a little too much money, but... That's okay, because I have, everything I got, I have an idea for, so it's okay. So I'll start with this dress pattern. Um, it's super uber duper stretchy, and I was thinking of doing some type of, like, swimsuit, and I know Makara Tours had just done, Makaya, Makara, oh boy, I can't remember her name. Um, she had done like that swimsuit, like making your own swimsuit. Um, I actually got inspired before that video, but watching her video made me want to do it more. So that's one fabric and I got a second fabric, which definitely feels like the swimsuit material and it's a super long dress and it just, yeah. So this one's also very stretchy, but it feels like that swimsuit material. I really liked it. Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of swimsuits I want to do, but I definitely want to do some type of swimsuits for this. Uh, next one is that t a tweed, a tweed dress. It's, but I'm not really into tweed dresses, but I do like tweed skirts. More of the fitted pencil skirts. So I was thinking of seam ripping this apart or taking up the, se you know, taking up the seams and turning this into a cute little pencil skirt. Maybe if I have enough fabric doing that pattern that I got from June Lake, that'd be kind of fun. So that's the tweed dress. I got this dress because I liked the texture of the fabric. I don't know if you can see it. It's almost like a alligator reptile print. I thought it'd be more fun for, again, that skirt pattern for more of a the ruffle part or the the pleated areas the, the lower parts that aren't the main and just doing a different fabric for the main so it'd be like you know mix and match and something super cute so these two items 
I'm going to put together because I have a plan for this. I was a 90s baby. Um, so, um, I have a lot of like, you know, you, I, I'm from a really large family, so I have a lot of photos growing up. So there was this dress that I was thinking of recreating. It's going to be a while before I can do that because I have other things planned before that. But it's jean and floral. Sounds really weird. It was the 90s. I figured I could recreate this for a fun, you know, look. It's not, it's not the exact floral print because it was a blue floral denim. It's a little, probably a little darker than what it was, but that's okay. It'll be fun. It'll be, I'm hoping it'll be cute. <laughs> uh, okay. Next is this velvet red dress. Um, I want to do a like Christmas look. Um, it's, I mean, the skirt part, it's cute because it's got the little slit, uh, the slit and it's got long sleeves, but the top, I don't like whatever about it, but I have an idea of also taking this apart and using this to create a dress, a new one, um, made of velvet and I have like a long series I want to do with that for Christmas. So that'll be fun. So, you know, around December, for Saturday of December, I'll have this out. So, and this one is something that's going to have to wait a while because I just realized there's boning in this. I think there's boning. Oh, there's boning in this. I can like totally take out the boning and keep it. Oh my God. <sighs> when you're thrift store shopping and you're in a rush because of the pandemic. Um, it's this blue, satiny, almost, you know, shimmering towards dark navy type of um, dress. Um, I have a video coming out of a dress that I'm making for my cousin's wedding. But we're still early in the game to find out if she's actually going to send invites. But I have the design that I want to do and this is the fabric I was thinking about doing. So, and then two things that every person who sews tends to go and get from the thrift store. Bed sheets. So this one, I'm going to do a Halloween themed uh, green outfit. Kind of fun, you know, I think it's tiny. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do something with this. I wanted orange, but can't be picky. <laughs> and this one, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with, oh, I know what I want to do with this one. Um, so it's got stars on it and Gretchen from Gretchen's World had given out a Harlem pajama pattern and I thought that was kind of cool and I would love to have those pants in this. I haven't figured out a top. I'm not sure if I'm really going to do a video on that because she already has a video and it's not my content, it's hers. So, you know, but that's everything I got from the haul. Um... <laughs> get all excited you can't figure out what you're gonna say next um <laughs> uh, I have um, a couple videos coming out pretty soon I want to post every first Saturday and every second no every third or fourth depending on how many Saturdays there are I want to post twice a month because it's it's hard and a lot of work to try and post every week and I don't want to put out a bunch of content and then not have anything for a couple months. So I'm kind of stretching it. So if you really like what I already have, you know, I have all these, you know, I have a few masks that I've done, a top that I fixed, um, more stuff coming out. Um, you know, if you really like this, you can stay and subscribe, but why did I say that? <laughs> but if you like what you saw, you want more. So stay